data world has so many different roles data engineering data science data analyst data this data that and a lot of people might find this confusing and you might be one of them too so in this video i want to take you on a journey to understand all of these different roles in very simple language are you ready let's get started to make you understand all of these different roles in simple language we will pick some real world example so in this video i will go with the e-commerce brands like amazon but you can perform the same exercise with me using the similar company such as if you use instagram netflix youtube whatever the company or whatever the application that you use you can do the same exercise with me to understand all of these different data rules so understand this all of these companies are a business at the end of the day the goal of businesses is to understand their customers provide them better services generate profits all of these companies have these kind of similar goals so all of these data roles that we talked about such as data analyst data engineering helps businesses to take the right decisions based on the data this is what we call as the data driven decisions so instead of relying on the assumptions you look at the data and based on that you take the right action so let's start by understanding the each and every role and how they help businesses to achieve the final outcome so first people is the software engineers generally if you are in the tech company you will have the bunch of people who will actually build the application this is what we call as a software engineer now there might be multiple categories in between such as application developer front end engineer back end engineer or web developer you can call it whatever you want but at the end of the day all of these guys are software engineers who are trying to build the application so that customers can interact with those application now behind this applications we have something called as a database so all of the interaction that is being done on the application level we store all of these information in the database so every form that you fill or every button you press all of these different information gets registered inside the database now generally if you are working in a smaller company you will be doing multiple things so as a software engineer you might also build a database but in the larger companies you might have like specific people who mainly work on building all of these database systems we generally call these guys as a database administrator their job is to understand what what type of data we need to collect build the data model which is kind of like the structural way of how your data will get stored such as uh, building the right tables understanding the proper data types all of these decisions are taken by the database administrator so based on this software engineers will write the application code and try to collect all of these data and store that data onto the database so software engineers and the dba work together to build the final application now this part is how data is generated user will visit websites or application interact with them and all of these data will get collected inside the database in the case of amazon we will have different types of data such as users information uh, number of order placed by different users how many return order did we get how many orders were shipped all of these information will get stored inside the database based on the user interaction each and everything is recorded from the page you visited to the time you spent looking at a particular product all of these different information gets stored inside the database now remember this all of these data are getting stored inside the relational database or oldb database online transaction processing these database systems are mainly designed for faster reading writing and updating remember this part because this will help you to understand the data science and machine learning work as we go further down this video now from this point the actual data world starts right without data we do not have all of these different rules now companies are collecting all of these data to take the right decisions and once they have the data in place they need people who can structure this data and find the valuable insights from it and this is where the job of data engineers data science data analyst machine learning engineers comes into the picture now in this pipeline the first people who will interact with the database system is called as a data engineers i have been working as a data engineer from the last 5 years and we generally sit on the data generation side and try to collect the information that businesses might need so we have a data coming from the multiple places we might have data coming from the rdbms system that is connected to the application we might have the information about the third party such as google analytics who gives us the insights about the website and how user is interacting with those websites there might be some sensor data that is coming such as in the case of amazon right we might have truck moving from one location to the next location so we will capture all of this information from sensor so in this case as you understand we have data coming from the multiple places and all of these data are also coming in the different format such as csv json xml html 
you have to process all of these data so the responsibility of the data engineers you might understand is to gather data from all of these multiple places and make the data into proper structure formats data engineers work might include such as convert the data into proper format make sure all of the data type is same convert unstructured data into structure format drop the columns that are not needed it is like applying filter on incoming data so you only pass the good information that is useful for the business and you discard all of the garbage information that is not needed now to perform all of these actions data engineers will build data pipeline or etl pipeline the overall goal is to extract data from multiple sources do some transformation based on the logic or the business requirement and then load your data onto some kind of target location now target location can be anything but in most of the cases we build a data warehouse we will load our data onto the data warehouses now data warehouses are called as an olap system online analytical processing so at the start of the video we talked about the oltp system which is kind of like the relational database generally used for faster reading writing update but on the other end we have the olap system online analytical processing these systems are mainly designed for analytics workload now data engineers will structure all of these data and load the data onto data warehouse so that business people can understand all of these data and take the right decision so who are these people that will help businesses to do and understand all of these different things data analysts data scientists machine learning engineers bi engineers whatever you call okay the entire job is to understand the data and help businesses to make the right decisions so the first person in this pipeline is we have data analyst the role of data analyst here is to ask the question from the past for example what was the revenue of the last month compared to this month how many product did we sell in this category from last year compared to this year all you are trying to do is analyze the data from the past and understand the insights based on some patterns so generally data analysts will use different tools such as sql ms excel power bi any dashboarding tools to help businesses to understand all of these different things now on the other hand we have data scientists while data analyst ask the question from the past the role of data scientist here is to understand what will happen in the future so if we sold 100 units of product in this month how many units will we sell in next 6 months so if you understand we are trying to understand what will happen in the future based on what is currently happening or happened in the past so this is what the data scientists will do they will try to build the prediction model or classification model using some basic machine learning algorithms and help businesses to predict what will happen in next 6 months or 1 year based on the machine learning model that they have built and after this we have the machine learning engineers so all of these different models that you see on amazon website such as the recommendation system or people who bought this product also bought the similar product so all of these things are done by the machine learning engineers where they work with the larger database train the machine learning models on large scale and deploy that in the data pipeline now there are many different roles these roles changes companies to companies such as if you are working in a small company then you will have to do a lot of things by yourself so when i was working in a startup company i was doing data engineering data science even machine learning work i also did some cloud engineering work because i was working in a startup environment but i also worked on the larger companies where they actually divide the role based on the different task that is assigned to you so if you are working in a big company then you will have the specific person working on a specific problem such as if you are working on a mainly dashboarding and the company is using tableau then you will have a role such as tableau developer it changes companies to companies but at the end of the day if you remember the goal is to actually generate the value from the data so name can be anything but the goal is similar so depending on the company size and their goals they will create the new jobs based on the requirement that they have we also have many different new roles coming in the market which is kind of like the combination of multiple roles so one of the roles we have is called as a analytics engineer it is like the combination of data analyst and data engineer so these are the people who understand the analytical side of the business but they also know how to build the basic data pipeline then we also have the big data developer these guy mainly work on tools such as hadoop spark and open source environment they also have the roles such as data architect They job is to build the oral system design they strategize everything which technology that we will use in our data system all of these different decisions are taken by data architect then we also have devops or data ops so to automate the entire process of the deployment of the code in the production system we have a specific team working on this and like these new jobs are always coming in the market it can be a tool based role such as tableau developer or power bi developer or it can be just an abstraction of multiple roles such as you know data engineer data scientist Uh, decision scientists all of these different roles 
are created in the market based on the company size and the requirement but at the end of the day you need to understand that you can use whatever the tools you want you can have like whatever the title you want you need to create an impact for the business and help them to achieve their goal this is your final goal it doesn't matter you are data engineer data scientist machine learning engineers your role at the end of the day is to help businesses to achieve their outcome you need to do a work that actually have an impact that's it there is no best role in this case right or data engineering is better than data science or data analyst you need to pick what you really like working on so i've been working as a data engineer for the last 5 years and i enjoy working as a data engineer but there are people who love working on a machine learning side or data science side it is up to you whatever you like you can pick and start your career okay so if you want to learn data engineering you can check out my courses i've already given the link in the description if you learned something new from this video then don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video